Hi, hello, uh, good, good morning, good morning one and all, welcome, welcome to the session. I hope this audio and video all clear. Can anybody confirm about audio and video? Let me check from my side so that we'll move on. Is everything okay? Audio, video? Can anybody confirm about audio and video? All right, so let us move ahead. So here, uh, um, we are, uh, I think we have already started the monsoon series and in that I think digital electronics, analog electronics part has uh, completed, I think so. So my, when it comes to my part, so I'm going to teach some uh, concepts about in the uh, electric circuits, right? So, or electric circuits are networks. In networks, I am going to teach, I am going to teach electric uh, basics of transients. Basics of transients. So, this is a topic I have taken according to your uh, wish only. So, let us uh, start this uh, session. Uh, before starting the session, please let me know about your, uh, you know, uh, presence so that we'll move on. I'm going to teach basics of transients. Right. Come on guys, please join in and we'll start the session within one or two minutes. Already the session is delayed, maybe around five minutes. So let us, let us uh, start very quickly and please do let me know uh, about your presence. Okay, and try to share this session with your friends so that they'll also get benefited. Uh, here, um, you know, as I just a minute, let me go to first slide. Right. Anybody is there? Please, please comment so that we'll move on. These are the basics you need to learn in order to understand the transient. So, so I just wanted to uh, give a, a basic introduction about uh, the inductor element and capacitor element. So that if you can understand the behavior of inductor and, inductor and capacitor elements, then it is very easy to uh, you know crack the questions of uh, transients, whether it is first order circuits or second order circuit, doesn't matter. Second order circuit, it will be thought as a lumba ho jayega. Oh, oh, agar wo, um, undamped, underdamped, or critical damped, over damped, right? So nature is a little bit of a If it is undamped, then it will be a little, little uh, bigger solution. Okay. Chalo. So we are going to discuss uh, in this in this series, we are going to discuss only uh, first order circuits. That is uh, RL circuits and RC circuits. RL circuit with sources. RL circuit with sources and RL circuit without sources. It's like source free circuits and source circuits. Similarly here also RC circuit with sources and uh, um, RC circuits without sources. Okay. So these are the uh, four to five sessions I'm going to plan and I think I'm sure this is a very, very important topic. Every year one question will be there from this topic. Every year one question will be there. Maybe one mark question or otherwise two mark question. Definitely one question will be there from transients. Right. So the very important uh, point is here. You need to understand the basics of transients. In this, I am going to discuss about behavior of inductor and capacitor. Behavior of inductor and capacitor. Okay, so how the inductor behaves at the time of switching or after a long time, long time after switching. Similarly, how the capacitor behaves at the time of switching or just after switching, after the long, uh, long time after the switching. If you can find out those uh, behaviors, then it's very easy to solve the network. Okay, so let us uh, move on. Let us move on. 
let us move on to the session very quickly i i don't have any uh, you know slides to discuss i don't want to show you anything um, this images and all those things simple mathematical calculations uh, are there simple mathematical calculations are there from that you can easily identify the behavior of uh, lnc okay so so here i wanted to teach just behavior of inductor and capacitor that's it at at various switching instants at various switching instants okay right before moving on to the before moving on to you know discussion i just wanted to say that here the inductor will be possessing some opposition so called inductive reactance and capacitor also will be possessing some reactance so called uh, capacitive reactance we generally represent that opposition with j omega l or otherwise in if you want to write in terms of um, laplace domain you can write it as esl you just remove this j j parameter okay imaginary term omega l ohms or esl ohms omega l ohms r sl ohms okay and similarly and similarly for capacitor you can represent the uh, opposing parameter as 1 by omega c ohms or otherwise you can write it as 1 by sc ohms 1 by sc ohms so what do you get from this what do you get from this opposing quantities so here is a frequency component here is a frequency component omega otherwise yes or omega otherwise yes frequency component okay so with respect to switching instant that is time instant switching instant means at what time we are going to close the switch at what time you are going to open the switch okay it's all about timing right what is the relation between time and frequency the relation between time and frequency is going to be obviously f is equals to 1 by t right f is equals to 1 by t right or else i can write i can also write omega equal to 1 by t you cannot write that to say exactly omega is inversely proportional to time otherwise s is inversely proportional to time that is what i wanted to say right so what i wanted to say is here if the time instant is going to be zero then the frequency is going to be infinity if the time instant is going to be infinity then the frequency instant is going to be the other frequency component is going to be zero right so omega will become infinity when when the switch is closed at zero time instant omega will be infinity on omega will be zero when the switch is closed at or uh, after closing the um, switch long time after closing the switch okay right so i just wanted to show you the timings and uh, the related frequencies right now how these how these frequency components are timing how these frequency components are timing can impact this inductive reactance and capacitive reactance is a question if you can understand this you know Uh, impact the switching instant impact on the inductive reactance and capacitive reactance then that's fine There's nothing more to do in the in the in the transients nothing more to do in the transients okay right so let us move on let us move on further let us move on further here i am taking a uh, switching time okay i am taking a switching time so this is my time line from minus infinity to infinity there is my time line from minus infinity to infinity and let us take up somewhere here zero somewhere here zero now here um, maybe i am i am uh, i am switching the i am switching the circuit i am switching the circuit at uh, minus infinity i am switching the circuit long back i have closed already long back of closed already so let me show you the network here this network contains an inductor maybe an r l network okay so what i am doing is i am closing the i am closing this switch okay what i am saying this switch is closed long back the switch is this switch is closed long back long back means not from zero long back so minus infinity let us assume the switch is closed at minus infinity 
if the switch is closed at minus infinity t equals to minus infinity i have closed right okay long back up closed now after just after closing the instant just after closing the switch just after closing the switch that is i can write it as infinity plus minus infinity plus just after closing the instant so what is going to be the behavior of this inductor what is going to be the behavior of this inductor we should uh, we should know we should find out okay so at at minus infinity plus that is called just after just after just after switching you know just after switching means it can be open or closed doesn't matter just after switching means here it can be open or closed it can be closed or open doesn't matter right now here the timing instant is infinity we we feel that okay we feel that infinity if you substitute this infinity then our omega our frequency component is going to be 1 by infinity comes at as 0 0 frequency component or omega component is 0 so what is our inductive reactance omega l is equals to 0 ohms okay 0 ohms means it is like a short circuit that means inductor is behaving like short circuit no actually just after closing the instant just after closing the instant it has to behave it has to behave like an open circuit if you substitute this if you substitute this gone case entire gone case huh? if you substitute this uh, you know these instants timing instants this timing instance long back that is minus infinity you will get wrong you will get wrong uh, you know behaviors you will get wrong behavior okay so what we need to do is what we need to do is whatever the substitution that is t equal to 0 t equal to infinity it is after the 0 it is after the 0 if you substitute here no it will not satisfy okay so let me show you the behavior of inductor and capacitor from 0 to infinity from 0 to infinity okay so let us see here let us see here now if i close a switch at t equal to 0 if i close a switch at t equals to 0 now i am observing the behavior of inductor just after closing i am observing the behavior of inductor just after closing so it can be taken as t equals to 0 instant 0 or 0 plus instant is almost same t equals to 0 plus instant so at t equal to 0 plus instant if t is 0 then what is omega what is omega infinity so omega l will be infinity ohms infinity ohms is nothing but infinity ohms is nothing but open circuit so inductor is going to act like an open circuit inductor acts as open circuit okay now i close the switch at t equals to 0 i close the switch at t equals to 0 now i am observing the behavior at behavior of behavior of inductor at t equals to uh, 0 plus instant that is just after switching just after switching okay the switching can be open or closed doesn't matter it can be closed close or open switching okay right now uh, i close the switch at uh, zero now let us allow some um, allow some time allow some time and long time after switching it can be t equals to infinity long time after switching long time after switching so at t equals to infinity this is called long time after switching switching doesn't switching means not only closed or it can be open also it can be closed or open the switch can be closed or open okay so here here this instant is we are closing the switch and after closing closing the switch after after long time after closing the switch 
long time after closing the switch that is called t equals to infinity okay now if t equals to infinity omega will be zero if omega will be zero then omega l will be zero ohms i can call it as short circuit so inductor acts like a inductor acts as inductor acts as short circuit inductor acts as short circuit so please try to understand how can you say that these behaviors are correct how can you say that the just after switching inductor acts like an open circuit just after long time after switching inductor acts like short circuit how can you say that okay how can you say that so it is this is how i can say please try to understand if i have a inductor and i have a switching instant here i have a voltage source right so the moment i maybe maybe 10 volts voltage source or some 100 volts voltage source doesn't matter whatever the voltage source you are going to apply you take up the voltage source value v now before closing the switch there is no current there is no current i is equals to zero before closing the switch okay now after closing the switch there will be change in current no current definitely it will it won't be you know it won't be zero definitely the some some amount of current tries to flow some amount of current tries to flow so because of change in current because of change in current you will get when there is no current there is no flux lines now when there is a current there is a flux line so there will be chance of change in flux lines now wherever there is a change in flux lines with respect to time then it leads to emf induction in the conducting uh, bodies so there is a chance of emf induction there is a chance of emf induction across this inductor that is what we call it as voltage across the inductor otherwise emf induced in the inductor now this emf always opposes a very cause of its production this emf always opposes a very cause of its production the cause for the production of emf is what change in change in flux linkages change in flux linkages is because of what change in current and change in current is because of what this applied voltage only the switching instant voltage obviously so now this emf has to he, this emf has to oppose the supply voltage if the emf wants to oppose the supply voltage the emf polarity should be positive and negative then only it can oppose the supply voltage no because plus v minus e is equal to has to become zero in a closed path so if v is 100 let us take up it if v is 100 the e induced emf also should be 100 then only the emf uh, can oppose uh, you know maybe maybe may not be 100 also it can be 99 it can be 98 also but the induced emf polarity must be like this positive and negative okay so if the emf can develop and produce some amount of value then it can start opposing the voltage the moment when it is starting up when it starts opposing the values the current accepted by the inductor is absolutely tending to zero the current absolutely tending to zero initially the moment when you close the switch it is trying to it is trying to increase it is trying to increase the current flowing through the inductor trying to increase but because of increasing change of current and increasing change of flux is producing and that is the reason why emf is producing and that emf is opposing the increasing change so in order to oppose the increasing change this emf polarity must be positive and negative and therefore whenever an opposing voltage is there the current will will reduce and it 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 will be actually current will be reduced and it will be actually you know to say exactly zero immediately just after closing the switch immediately immediately after closing the switch so if current is zero i can say that if current is zero i can say that it's an open circuit so it is just after just after switching instant if i close the switch at t equal to zero now at a t equal to zero plus instant just after switching instant the inductor behaves like an open circuit why because uh, nf amount of emf large amount of emf or nf amount of emf is going to be induced in the inductor in the inductor and it opposes the supply voltage so it will not drive it will not drive any current it happens only just after switching instant <clears throat> it cannot this opposition cannot be for all time this opposition cannot be for all time okay now here now here this source is connected for a long time okay right this source is connected for a long time so when the moment when you connect the moment when you connect just after switching instant or just after closing the switch this is a behavior now after some time definitely this voltage source pushes the current through the inductor this voltage source forces the current through the inductor 
right slowly the current starts building maybe exponentially rising or some way the current starts building if the current increases if the current increases when t greater than t greater than 0 plus instant the current increases if the current increases flux increases if the flux increases definitely emf induces but here here rate of change of current will not increase the rate of change of current will decrease the rate of change of current the rate of change of current will decrease and rate of change of flux will decrease and therefore the induced emf will become decrease see i am saying current is increasing flux is increasing but rate of change of current is decreasing i am saying and rate of change of flux is decreasing how can you say that it is like this it is like this it is like this so initially when you initially when you close the switch or when you open the switch the current is zero now i am closing the switch at t equal to zero no current just after closing t equal to zero plus also no current it's an it is acting like an open circuit now after t equal to zero plus instant the current starts rising like this maybe 63.8 percent or 63.2 percent in the first instant and then later little increment okay in the very first instant in one time constant itself it will be around 63.2 percent increment and then second time instant little lesser and th third time instant it is li little lesser fourth time instant it is still less a little lesser and fifth time instant it is almost no change so by five time constants by five time constant the change in current is almost zero so this is what uh, change in current so the change in current is is initially high in the very first time constant and the later from first time constant to second time constant it is lesser here the change the change is this much only and from second time constant to third time constant only this much this much change in magnitude and fourth time constant fifth time constant almost no change in current so the change in current is decreasing from zero to five time constant therefore change in flux also decreases and hence the emf decreases to zero if emf if emf is zero i can say that if emf is zero i can say that if voltage is zero i can say that it's a short circuit if voltage is zero or emf is zero across the inductor i can say that it's a short circuit okay we know the formula also voltage across inductor is equal to l into di by dt the current is what is happening this change in current with respect to time is almost zero there is no change in current from five, fifth time constant to sixth time constant there is no change in current if current at the five time constant is around 5 amperes or let us take up 15 amperes now at six time six time constant also it is again 15 amperes only the change in current is zero i can say that the current is constant if the current is constant the emf is going to be zero flux is constant and hence emf is going to be zero okay so just after switching instant it is open circuit long time after switching instant it is short circuit just after switching instant it is open circuit long time after switching instant it is short circuit so this is the point you need to remember whether switching it can be closing switching instant or opening switching instant doesn't matter okay if you open the switch just after opening the switch it will be an open circuit inductor will behave like an open circuit long time after opening the switch inductor behave will behave as an uh, you know um, maybe uh, short circuit if it is a source if it is a source connected if it is a source free almost it is equal to no energy again it is going to be like an open circuit you cannot define open circuit or short circuit when there is no energy okay so this is what i wanted to say when it comes to inductor and similarly for capacitor also similarly for capacitor also again the same timeline if you take up don't include the negative time instance if you include the negative time instance in the formula you will get wrong behavior so please take up only zero instant okay now if i close the switch at zero instant okay now just after closing just after closing the instant at t equals to zero plus instant now one by omega c omega will be zero it will be infinity so one by omega c is nothing but infinity ohms it's like an open circuit 
Inductor is acting like a short. Uh, I am so sorry. I should. Uh, omega is infinity. One by omega is zero. Infinity. One by infinity is zero. No. One by infinity is zero, and this will be short circuit. So just opposite, to, quite opposite to inductor. Inductor is acting like an. Inductor is acting like an open circuit just after switching. So capacitor is acting like an short circuit. So capacitor, capacitor acts as short circuit just after switching. Just after switching. Okay, the switching I am repeating again and again. The switching can be opening or closing. Let it be any instant. Let it be in any instant. Okay, right. Now similarly, long time after closing the switch, that is t equal to infinity. At t equals to infinity, so it's a long time after closing the switch. So omega will be one by infinity equal to zero. So one by omega c equal to one by zero is infinity ohms. It's an open circuit. So capacitor acts as capacitor acts as open circuit long time after switching long time after switching okay all right so what i wanted to conclude is here this this is the only thing you need to you know understand so how the inductor and capacitor behaves the only thing so let me show you simply here uh, with respect to the timeline okay if the switching is done at t equals to minus infinity at t equals to minus infinity okay here switching is done let it be opening or closing doesn't matter okay here the switching is done okay now just after switching just after switching inductor l acts as open circuit because the inductor will oppose a sudden changes in currents by producing an emf okay capacitor acts as short circuit why capacitor acts as short circuit because initial voltage in the capacitor in the capacitor plates so it will it will oppose a sudden changes in voltages it will oppose the sudden changes in voltages whether to accept the voltage or reject the voltage lose the voltage it will oppose simply okay it will not lose the voltage it will not gain the voltage suddenly it will take some amount of time okay so this is just after switching in sense and long time after uh, if the switching is done at t equals to minus infinity long time will be long time will be here zero let me take up zero minus instant will be the long time instant now t equals to zero minus is long time after switching long time after switching now l acts as short circuit c acts as capacitor acts as open circuit okay in the same way the rest also here also i can take up okay now if the switching let me draw here this is from minus infinity to zero minus so i can call this instant just after switching instant is called as a transient state transient state why the inductor is changing its state from open circuit to short circuit state and here zero minus instant long time after switching is a steady state instant 
steady state instant okay so similarly if you can do it for t equals to 0 so if the switching is happening at t equals to 0 the switching is happening at t equals to 0 then t equal to 0 plus instant is just after switching just after switching is a t equal to 0 plus instant just after switching okay so l behaves as l acts as again open circuit c acts as short circuit okay now long time after switching t equals to infinity long time after switching so this t equal to 0 minus is like an infinity state from here if you start from here t equal to 0 minus instant is like an infinity state or infinity infinity time only from minus infinity to 0 it's a infinity time only no long time only no so long time after switching l acts as short circuit c acts as open circuit so if you can remember these things that's fine okay so you know um, we can solve the questions very easily so let us take up some questions tomorrow right so tomorrow we will have questions uh, rl circuit questions rc circuit questions okay thank you thank you so much have a nice day